What are you doing? Why? Just... Dumb cunt. Oh, shit. John's face. Yeah, dumbass. Oh, shit. John's face is like, oh, motherfucker. Get on and go now. What are you doing? You have to mean mug at each other? Do you have to do this? You're like, get on and fucking leave. You better go. the dragon in the water too? They're just leaving. Uh, I always forget about you. him. Oh. Uh. Right to the pass. Come with me. There's no time. Go! Why is he not getting on the horse? There's plenty of room for two people on that horse. That's bullshit. He could have got on the horse too. Oh, that's the first time he saw him in what, like six years? They left the wall to go look for him and. He's gonna find the faces. Alright, she just leaves those around in a bag like nobody changes beds or anything around there. One of the servants could just look in there and find it. It's simple. I ask you a question about yourself, and you try to make lies sound like the truth. If you fool me, you win. If I catch a lie, you lose. 
Let's play. I don't want to play. How do you feel about John being king? Is there someone else you think should rule the North instead of him? Those two faces. Exactly. What are they? I could even become you. Mm. I wonder what it would feel like to wear those pretty dresses. To be the Lady of Winterfell. All I'd need to find out is your face. Man, just scared the shit out of her. <laughs> I know people are gonna hate on Arya, but I don't care. Let her be a little assassin, okay? Let her live her life. She doesn't have to be Sansa all the time. I don't understand it. Either people love Sansa, hate Arya, or love Arya and hate Sansa. Just love both of them for what they are. Well, Sansa's being a jackass right now. But Sansa needed to be scared because she's trying some shit. Why is she in Arya's room looking for stuff? We know why Arya was in Baelish's room because he's fucking Baelish. Sansa in Arya's room, she's up to no good. I'm telling you, she's fucking working with Cersei, isn't she? She's fucking working with Cersei. That's why Cersei invited her to King's Landing. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. No. We are going to destroy the Night King and his army. We'll do it together. You have my word. Thank you, Danny. 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 Here's the last person who called me that. Not about my queen. I'd um, bend the knee, but. What about those who swore allegiance to you? They'll all come to see you for what you are. I hope I deserve it. You do. They do have really good chemistry, like on screen chemistry together. I'll give them that. You should get some rest. But come on, we can't condemn Jamie and Cersei and then root for this. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> How do they get changed from? It would have been really cool if they were ice chains. That would have been really cool. Yeah, I'm gonna Alright. I was like, is this some weird dragon there? What? Oh, what is this? Wasn't this a fan, um, a fan theory or a fan thing? Like, for a dragon to become part of the dead army? Do it this way, not with the eye opening. That's how they're gonna do it. Alright. That's so cliche. You know how you know it would have been cool if he like went over and touched the dragon and it kind of like sh shuddered and did this like little thing, and then like they went all the way down to the front of the dragon and it like took a deep breath and like and spray out like ice and fire like right at the camera like whoosh that would have been cool but all right we'll do the avatar eye opening thing the last jump in the horror story <laughs> when they left the dragon in the water i was like they're just gonna leave it like well, because i knew this has been a fan theory or a fan quite request or whatever that when the dragons become one of the part of the army of the dead or whatever so oh they're just gonna leave it but okay they can't they had to go get some chains from around the corner i guess and they came back to get it but i knew john snow was not gonna die i was not expecting to see uncle benjamin for all of two seconds why couldn't he have gotten on the horse too there's room for two people on the horse all right rose they're pulling on titanic there were enough room for two people on that horse um 
Sansa, her conversation with Baelish is pissing me off because she said season 10, I mean season 6, only a fool would trust uh, Littlefinger. And here she is trusting Littlefinger, confiding in him, talking to him about stuff. Talking to him about Arya. And we know he planted that thing there for Arya to find and she fell right into it, but... Sansa's trusting in him. And then they're talking about Brienne and then Cersei sends this letter to Sansa inviting her to King's Landing and she sends Brienne in her place. Which leads me to two things. She's sending Brienne away because she knows that Brienne and Arya will more likely get along. They both hate Littlefinger. So send Brienne away so Arya doesn't have that back up. But why? And two, why is Cersei inviting Sansa to King's Landing? Um, now that she knows that Olena killed Joffrey, she knows that Sansa's, you know, free and clear, which she probably knew anyway, but still. So is she trying to work with Sansa? Because she said before she needs to start thinking like her father and Tywin planned the Red Wedding. So is she trying to work with Sansa to kill Jon? Or for her and Jon to kill Danny? The two of them are going to start working together. I hope she doesn't. I hope she kind of plays her. Uh, but Tyrion also said if we conspire against them when we're trying to work together, then we're no better than they are. Maybe Sansa's going to try to make Cersei think she's working with her against Jon or Danny or whoever. But she's the one who's actually going to double cross them and kill Cersei. I'll take that too. Even though I still think Jamie should do it. Theories all over the place. Um, I liked the beginning with all the guys having all the conversations while, while they're walking. Like, there's so much that's happened over the last few years, and all these people are now together. Naturally, all this stuff would come up. And I also like Jorah giving John kind of his blessing to keep the um, long claw, um, which still kill the White Walker, and now they know they're kind of like vampires. Like, you kill the sire and all the rest of them fall. So is that going to be in the finale? Maybe not this season, but next season. Like, you kill, like, the main guys and, like, Whoa! they just all explode from there. I was going to get down on the Gendry running scene, but... <laughs> um... Of course, for a second I was going to, but then I remember David does marathons, and I mean, you can easily run that in a day, and some more. So, they, they were just leisurely walking, maybe they went about 20 miles, but since he said Gendry was the fastest, he could make it back there at nightfall, and then send the raven, and then come, Danny could fly her ass back on three dragons, which are very fast, and make it back there. She needs, like, face cover or something. She's very high up and they're fast and it's cold. She didn't have, like, face burns. Anyway. Yeah, I was, for a second I was about to, like, really ream that, but, like, no, he could <laughs> run that far. So is the Hound going to be the new priest? He needs to get over this fire thing. Yeah. It was an episode. Um, I will see you next week for the finale. This is the finale, right? Next week. Wow. The season's over. Like, the next episode is the last one for this whole season. All right. We'll talk more at the end of the next episode, I think. Um, that's it. I'll see you next week. Have a good week. Bye.